It's 2016, Overwatch releases, and everyone thinks how quaint that is. There's excitement, there's actually updates, there's a lot of TF2 is dead. Now it's 2021, Overwatch still exists, everyone thinks how shit it is, there's no excitement whatsoever, no updates, and a lot of TF2 is dead. As of today, I have never seen a game in more need of developers or anybody who even wants to work on the game. If you present someone with the question of how Overwatch could stop being bad, you'd have no way to guarantee what aspect they'd criticize the most, probably because the game is now garbage and sucks. It could be the terrible unbalanced gameplay that is constantly getting power crep to make up for poor design decisions, or perhaps the atrocious map design that feels like some unpaid intern was unpaid to copy and paste old frameworks for every new map, the game modes that put a metaphorical cock and bollocks into my buttocks with their aggravating calculations and punishments for being the team that performed better, more on this in a minute, could it be the fact that there aren't any updates to this game anymore, even including the experimental balance patch updates, probably because Blizzard has consistently found ways to empty their drawers on their own developers. I could go on, and I will. The CC fucking avalanche is so expansive that it ruins the concept of trying anything, basically making it seem more adequate to sit and hide in corners rather than engage anyone. The travesty of the lore, which is never updated anyway, but when it is, it's constantly manipulated in boring, uninteresting, or annoying ways. In an almost poetic sense, the game is quite ass-centric. The sad part is that I actually still like Overwatch, despite the copious pains in my balls the game contains. I have illustrated this before in my Overwatch is starting to stink video, but I have since become more acquainted with ways in which to bitch. And this time I thought we could have a productive conversation about everything the game needs to stop stinking, which is a comprehensive list, but hey, I've got time to complain, why not? Firstly, I should clarify that I think Overwatch is the most recently good Blizzard creation. That's not counting re-releases, with only one of those being not shit anyway. Since then, I do not have fondness for their WoW expansions or their Hearthstone expansions and uh, their criminal expansions. When Overwatch launched, we all put up with the things we hated. Hooks around walls, fan the hammer one-shotting tanks, horrendous competitive metas literally from the get-go. To describe the fall of Overwatch in better detail than you could get in a Google search, I have five points. I present you a grievance and offer a solution. I bitch, I complain, I offer something or an idea, and then I praise TF2. So yeah, big video game problem number one, Overwatch has terrible gameplay. This might be the hardest section to actually figure out on how to solve, and as such this will be the biggest section by far, because uh, yeah, the, the list of Overwatch gameplay problems is so f long. To begin, we have to analyze what fundamentally changed in the design of Overwatch. Let me check my notes. Oh yeah, that's right, fucking nothing. From the very instant the game launched, even before the instant the game launched, there was too much CC. They obviously enjoyed the thought of ripping control away from the player. I mean, this is Blizzard after all. The funny part was that this game would never have less crowd control after this point. Every single edition for like two years had to include some sort of fuck you, which is atrocious game design. It's an FPS, guys. Can we have more emphasis on the gunplay instead of quote skill shots that I actually just usually kill somebody instead of annoy them. But it's not even just hard CC that gets in the way of fun gameplay, it's the oppressive concept they keep incorporating. Things like the Anna anti-heal or Ash TNT causing afterburn or Moira's suck ball or Doomfist's omnipresent in your back line and in your backside appeal, Arissa's and Sigma's portable and mobile shields that can just appear when they want, Echo's flurry of attacks coming from a different planet, Torbjorn's essence all over the place. And don't forget you have a team of six people putting this all together, so now you have the Doomfist in your ass, the May jumping in and free Freezing your team, the Wrecking Ball whacking around with 900 HP, dumping his mines all over the place, the Anna Nana boosting the Reinhardt who can't miss and doesn't have to think, and finally the Mercy holds right click and waits to undo something that you just clutched out. Bad! So yeah, long rant about CC complete. Here's the solution, and I think they're trying things like this, but nuke all of this out of the game. We don't need 15 stuns, especially on anything other than a tank. Give a couple tanks like Roadhog these kind of things because it's central to their design. In the case of Roadhog, the fucking wasted heap himself, he has so many drawbacks that it it doesn't matter if he has a stun. If he fails that, he's a complete waste for eight seconds. And speaking of eight seconds, can we please across the board increase cooldowns? This game is moving so quickly that I can't believe anyone would spectate it with any interest, especially if they didn't know what was going on. Even without stuns, it's still a total mess with things constantly off cooldown. Even long cooldowns like Mercy Resurrect and Baptiste Better Resurrect are too short. It feels like you never really got rid of a threat, and if they use a cooldown, you have to go bananas trying to take advantage of that fact, and nine times out of ten, that wasted cooldown isn't going to make a difference. Okay, so now Overwatch with these two changes has less CC and less cooldown 
cooldowns, so the game is a little slower. But yet another problem presents itself, of course, some characters are built to one-shot. I don't remember where, but some Overwatch developer said that they didn't want one-shots in the game. Absolutely talking shit, lying bastard. Even when they said this, get Widowmaker or Hanzo, anybody? Now, my personal solution is to literally remove the concept of snipers in this game and make everything a brawler since it becomes two team clubs fighting in a ball anyway. But let's just say that sniper is here to stay, which means I can't possibly suggest a total balance for this. But in general, we need longer times to kill. This game never lets up on you. You just seem to die sometimes, only avoidable if you completely hide or just wait for your other teammates to do something for you instead. This is especially bad when playing tank because you just take so much damage for minor engagements. To compensate that, the healing in Overwatch became so intense that now damage is irrelevant unless you flat out kill something. So in my opinion, tone everything back. And I have two good solutions for how this could be possible. Firstly, double the HP of everybody or half the damage they deal. Obviously not this dramatic across the board, but everyone shouldn't have to stress about the idea if they even engage, they are going to die immediately. Or the more immediate solution is to add ammo to the game. With ammo and no adjustments to the damage or healing we currently have, maybe people couldn't just shoot fucking forever and never think, maybe I should stop shooting forever. Plus, if healers had to get ammo too, maybe fights would involve a little more nuance where players would, you know, move around and do things instead of huddle behind two shields and attack without question or intelligence. But beyond the raw mechanics of the game, we face more problems than we can hope to fix in a timely manner, or with Blizzard being the ones in charge. The game modes in Overwatch are all really disinteresting. They are all stand here, which is fine. It just doesn't really matter. But the problem is that you don't earn anything for just playing the objective because the real objective in Overwatch is to kill the enemy team, not push the payload or take any kind of presence on a point. Since you can't accomplish anything with the other team remotely near your objective, it's basically deathmatch with differing timers. Again, more non-nuance at all to how you tackle a point. It doesn't matter if it's payload, king of the hill, or control points. Legitimately, one change could improve this game, and that's if Blizzard wanted to join the rest of the the gaming industry and use a sensible system for calculating who wins. Time Bank is the name, Robbing Wins is my game. I can't believe we still have this concept in quote, competitive games. For the uninitiated, say Team 1 pushes the payload to the very end in 3 minutes, which is incredible. Then say Team 2 gets their chance to push the payload and then does it in 9 minutes, heavily abusing the fact that overtime was designed by Gibbons. So essentially, Team 2 sucked way more, but both teams did succeed in the end. So usually I'd say that Team 1 should win outright since, you know, we don't want to have 30 round games. But not in Overwatch, where the team that did better gets shit all in terms of benefits and has to keep kicking ass or lose the game. Team 1 has 5 minutes remaining and Team 2 has 0, so what's the bank of bullshit offer us? today. Well, Team 2 gets a free one minute to push more payloads, and Team 1 gets an extra minute on top of what they already have. Don't worry, this keeps getting worse. Now, the team with less time gets to play offense first. This is such a huge advantage since they only have one minute, so the team will play a very all-in kind of playstyle, which can snowball if they get lucky and win one fight. This happens very often for how terrible it is. The worst team will push first with Bastion or some other random cheesy strategy, and you will lose the first defense. Since you lost first, you're now going to have an ultimate disadvantage, which will allow them to bulldoze you on the second point. Now they are firmly into overtime, which means that your spawns get worse. It bears repeating that your spawn times are worse in overtime. This doesn't bear any weight to the attackers because they can't die anyway or the round's going to end. So if they steamroll you once, you can't stop them from pushing and you have to watch a long respawn timer as they push the payload in further and further. Reminder that you did this better than they did. This concept is maddening to me, not to mention the team that did much better does not get this advantage. You have six real minutes to push, whoop de doo They never have longer respawns in the regular game time, so you have to kill them nearly twice as much to succeed, so six minutes isn't even good, it's in fact worse than having a minute. I can't even be bothered to write anything related to how bad 2CP is, and to anyone who's not familiar with Overwatch, know that it's abysmal, perhaps the least fun game mode in any big budget game ever created. I am almost convinced Blizzard has no idea how their game feels, since it's so apparent how poorly made the game modes are. The way I would offer a solution to these problems if I was a Blizzard executive is that I uh, add a stopwatch mechanic and then improve point three, which is... The maps are not good at all. I wanted to make this section longer, but it's really simple. You have bad maps because the sight lines are too long, the spaces for combat are either way too open or way too tight. Show points are the only way to enter a fight because there's either no flanks or they're so bad that they're not worth using. Additionally, many of the maps have spawns being too close or being too far away from the action. I am literally tilting my head back while writing this because I'm giving myself a headache going through this entire mess that is the relationship between the bad game balance, bad game modes, and finally the bad maps. Overall, exceptionally bad and is worse because of how everything else is made. What is my solution to this conundrum? Well, uh, I would say delete like two thirds of these maps and start over. It has become apparent what Blizzard means when they say they are re working something, it means it is gone, goodbye. 
Here is a point that is perhaps unfair criticism, but they have bungled the lore in this game. A game that praises itself for having great diversity and letting all sorts of people have a voice is great at going completely radio silent and giving nobody a voice in any capacity. The most lore anyone gets is when they're released and afterwards you aren't going to see them again. Even when they open their mouths and have something to say, nine times out of ten it's not interesting or expanding. The Overwatch universe is comprised of various concepts or ideas, which would be fine if we got more than one update a year if we were lucky. The comics have never been good, but at least they were something. The shorts looked really good and were fun. Fun, but too bad those cost a lot of money. Bobby's small dick needs some more corners to cut. To fix the lore, they could benefit from giving a shit. They really took these good designs genuinely and just you know, left them out to rot. If anything is easy to praise in Overwatch, the characters do stand out, they look familiar, and they are approachable, and you know, overall, well done on this. Then they must have realized their character write-ups are two-sentence descriptions of ideas and never got much farther than the planning stages. Annoying. Moving on to the final point, which I think is going to be easy to discuss since I feel like they are moving towards this idea in Overwatch 2 anyway, but there is nothing to do in this game. You have some bogus PvE modes that are no fun at all. You have some dumbass game modes that are stupid and offer nothing in return for your time. And then you have the arcade. Since this game is all built around the combat and that happens to be bad and not interesting, what else is there to do? What, this build the game mode workshop shit that doesn't matter? I genuinely don't understand why this huge game had such popularity and then got put into the bin while much smaller games and studios can produce great updates or just good games in general. A solution to this problem would be to maybe offer some incentive for your crap ass game modes or give me something that has a little nuance and fun. Overwatch 2 seems to be going in that direction, so here's hoping for the first time in years I'm wrong about Blizzard's practices and they produce something that plays as good as they hype up. I miss when games weren't bad.